Hello, welcome to the video, mate. Like, subscribe, comment, and let's get into it. So today's video we're going to be talking about ranking all of the dark series skins in Fountain or Fortnite, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So coming at number nine, in my opinion, is the weakest dark skin in Fortnite. You guessed it. It's Dark Jonesy. Now this skin's, in my opinion, just boring like did we really need a skin that's dark jonesy like i'm i like the original i think the original is so much better than this but do we really need jonesy with a dark like theme it's making sense uh, i'm sorry to anyone who likes that i personally hate the skin i don't hate it it's just not very good in my opinion um yeah it's just easily the weakest yeah and that it comes in at number nine and then coming at number eight, we literally the same model, but slightly different. We have Dark Rex now. In my opinion, comparing Dark Rex and Dark Jonesy is like comparing Omega to Carbide. One's the weird, shitty ripple, and the other one is the good skin. Although Carbide isn't as like terrible as people think, but I don't think it's very good either. Um. It's just, it's not amazing, um, it does have two edit stars, it's 1200 V-Bucks, which is pretty good for a dark series skin, it's like Dark Bomber essentially, um, it's a decent skin, um, that's about it, I don't have much else to say about it, it's a decent skin, um, there is in chapter 2 season 1. Now, coming at number 7, in my opinion, is the 7th weakest, we have Fallen Love Ranger now. E may I just get this out of the way? This is easily the best um, Love Ranger skin. I personally don't really like any of them. I think they're all kind of terrible. The female version is better, so much better than these skins. But I don't know. I for some reason this is the only one I kind of like. Um, because it's it's kind of better, but I still don't think it's amazing. I don't think any of them are very good. Um, like the Love Ranger styles, but this one is at least kind of cool, and uh, it's not one from my favorite series. My favorite series, Dark Series. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. and that was it. Coming in at number six is Dark Wildcard. Now, Dark Wildcard is interesting because I really want to like this skin, but something about it, I can't like it for. I think it's honestly the fact that the Frozen version, which is Frostbroker, is like a million times better than the skin. I like Frostbroker is my favorite wildcard skin. I think it's truly the best one. Um, Dark wildcard's okay. It's from this my favorite series, Dark series, but I st still I still can't love it. You know, I wish I could. Um, I just can't. Not uh, not have much else to say about it. Did come in a pack with Dark Jonesy. It's definitely better than Dark Jonesy. Not as good as Dark Red Knight though. And coming in at number five, we have Dark Heart. Now, Dark now Dark Heart comes from the much better female version of the Love Ranger. But I'm gonna get this out of the way. This version is probably not as good as the original. I'm gonna be honest. It just feels odd. You know, from the way, like, I really wish we didn't get, like, Love Ranger skin styles, like, Darks, Frozen. I really wish they just stopped with them, because I don't really like them. This one's probably one of the better ones, definitely, because it comes from the better series, but it's still not great. I don't know, am I the only one who doesn't really like the Love Ranger? Um, I suppose I might be. It's still pretty cool, though. I would not buy it, but it's still pretty good, I suppose. Wait, come, that's coming in at number 5. Now, coming in at number 4, we have the Dark Red Knight. Now, let me get this out of the way. This is probably not my favourite of the Red Knights. I think the Frozen Red Knight is probably the best one, um, because it, like, it just looks the coolest. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of the original. I don't think it's worth legendary status. I think Epic would suit it very well, um, but it just doesn't, in my opinion, work, look like it's worth 
that amount of V-Bucks. But the Dark Red Knight, I think it, it could be worth that much. Um, but at the same time, probably not. I think if Dark Red Knight was in the entry, it could have been 1,500 V-Bucks. Um, I don't think it should have been 2,000. It was never in the entry, I'm just saying that's what it would have been. Dark Red Knight overall, not my favourite, but not my least favourite of the series. Um, it's just kind of in the middle. I really like it, the, the everything apart from the horns. I think the horns really let down the skin. If it didn't have the horns, it might be my favourite uh, knight, red knight version of the <laughs> I can't speak right now. Um, it might be my favourite red knight version, um, but unfortunately the horns, I actually don't think so. I think the version of knight would still be better, but it's a lot better on the version of knights because those horns are still cool, but I just can't like it because of those horns. Man. Anyway, it comes in at number four. No, I mean, I do like obviously. Um, coming in number three, we have the counterpart to Dark Rex, Dark Tracer Art Tops. Now, I'm gonna get this out of the way. I know this is gonna seem like a proper stereotype for a Fortnite player. You know, I don't really personally for a Fortnite player, I really don't like being a Fortnite player. But for some reason, I cannot stop playing the game. So, here we go. Um, Dark Tracer Ops is alright. I'm just kidding, by the way, it's number three. Um, I really like the um, purple colour scheme, I think it works a lot better on the skin than Dark Rex. I was so tempted to pick this one up, but I got the Melody Maverick heat instead, which I don't think was a regret, I think Melody Maverick is slightly better. Um, but it's not terrible, it's actually pretty good. Um, I, it's cheap, it's affordable, it's pretty good, I'm gonna be honest, it's just like a really good skin. It has two other stars, a decent backbone, but I also say the backbone's not amazing at the same time. It's like right in the middle of the two. The skin is like an 8 out of 10. Now coming at number 2, might be a strange one, because I don't like the original version. It's Dark Parkour. Now, let me get this out of the way. The original one isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but I also think it's incredibly overpriced. I don't even care if it has a second star. The second star is cool. I think the second star does make up the skin a little bit. And I think with the second star, it could be 1500 V-Bucks, but then even then that would be a stretch. Um, I think it should be 1200 V-Bucks, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's not terrible, the original, but this one's so much better. The back bling's so much better. Pickaxe is kind of better. I can't remember if it has a pickaxe. If it does, um, let's assume it's better, <laughs> because I don't take my time in this stuff. Um, and yeah, it comes in number two, because I really like the skin. I will say one thing I don't like about it though is the fact that it kind of, I'm gonna be honest, I don't want anyone to get hurt by this or offended, but it does feel like the lips are a little bit like bulgy, no no problem with that or anything, it's just kind of weird something I picked up, uh, no, it's not like a complaint, it's just like, you know, a little thing I picked up, like the lips do look a bit more bulgy than usual, but maybe it's like, Something they intended, if it's intended, sure, whatever. No, anyway, I'm gonna have to keep on going. No, anyway, coming in number one, I think everyone knows the all time favorite, Dark Bomber. No, this is not because some stupid, like, FaZe clan member runs it or anything. Because I don't watch FaZe, I want everyone to know. I just like the Dark Bomber skin overall, I think it looks amazing. Um, it's really worth it for your, like, buck. Compare this to the Bright Bomber, and. Mm, I'm, I'll be incredibly surprised if you, if you like the Bright Bomber more than that. I could have bought the Bright Bomber, I didn't because I don't really like the skin. And yeah, that was the video. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>